happy Sunday. Welcome back to another video. I went to mass this morning and I just meditated, got some like logistic stuff done for podcast YouTube and then some other like random things, helping out like pre-dental students and stuff that I had to reply to some emails. And I'm going to SimLab at five tonight. It's about 1.30 right now and I'm doing an Instagram live with the Dental Digest channel about like our waxing tutorial video that we're putting together. So we're just getting on Instagram live to talk to you guys and get questions and feedback so we know kind of what to put in the video. So that is at two. So I'm just going to kind of get set up over here about to grab all my waxing stuff and probably eat a little bit more food before we start to figure out how I'm gonna like prop up my phone and stuff for the live. Probably just gonna like rest it on another candle or something but that's basically the agenda. I'll try to get some clips in SimLab and I will talk to you guys later. Just got these new hand pieces. They're electric from b and so they attach on here. And then this you can like adjust RPM on it while you're drilling. at 9 a.m. It's 10 20 right now. I woke up and had some cereal after the quiz and I'm just about to get dressed into scrubs out of my pajamas. I'm heating up some wax over here because I want to try to adjust. This is literally so gross you guys. It's so bad. I'm working on this premolar. I want to try to like tweak it a little bit till I have to leave in about 40 minutes. I'm gonna leave around 11, 11, 15. So I'll probably work on this for 30 minutes and then eat some lunch and hit the road as in walking to school. But um, I'd love to get a Starbucks later. So I don't know, I might get one after lab. I only have one tooth left to get signed, which is so, so, so great. And I went into Sim Lab last night as you guys saw and did that. And I think it's good enough to get signed. So I don't really know. <laughs> Like, if they don't tell us what tooth is on the practical, I don't really know what else I'm gonna do today. I guess just a few more on eight and nine and then call it a day. But I also have to do composite fillings for these class threes. So I can also do those today as well. So do some fillings. It's just like, there's such tiny, tiny external outlines compared to what we were doing for class ones that they're just so much faster. So that's why I think we're all getting them like signed and moving through them a lot quicker but um one of my classmates birthday she sits next to me in sim lab so i got her this little card and then this little michigan wine glass little face mask and stuff just to put on her bench when she gets there today as like a little happy birthday so i'm excited to give that to her these are classes curriculum chair so she does like so much work for us, like she always has to email professors like asking them questions about how long exams are gonna be, can they change this, can they adjust this, can this question be considered for regrading? Like she has so much work to do always, so bless her soul. So I wanted to tell her thank you and I love sitting next to her in lab. We always get to chat and stuff. But um, I will talk to you guys after lab. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon I'm back from lab. It's 5 right now. I got back around 3.30. I just finished our biomaterials for the day, so I went through that lecture and put it onto Quizlet. I have two lectures left, and our exam is on Tuesday. Next week is another one of those crazy exam weeks like you saw in the past couple of vlogs. Pretty much, it's like exam week, two weeks of learning, exam week. So, and that's how it's going to go for the rest of the term. We have five exams in immuno and five exams in our cell bio class, and they're always going to be the same week. And biomaterials is also the same week, except our class is actually over next week. We're taking our final. So after that point, we don't have to do biomaterials anywhere this semester, which I'm very excited about. But that grade is all just the midterm and the final, and the final is 65% of our grade. So I'm really hoping I can do better on the final than I did on the midterm. That way I can pass the class with more like a B rather than a C. I mean, I definitely just want to pass overall, but I'd like to be getting 
A's and B's, less C's, so we'll see. Um, we got our practical grades back, and as I expected, I didn't pass the restoration one, but I did pass the prep. So the way that works is that we remediate whatever you don't pass. So at the end of this term, before Thanksgiving, there's two weeks of sim lab with like nothing scheduled, and that's for us to go in and practice and remediate. And I believe I just do the composite rest restoration again on the class one, and as long as it looks okay, then I pass. I have to talk to the faculty about what that does to your actual percentage grade. I don't know if it just bumps me up to exactly a 70, like bare minimum passing, or if I do a really great restoration, do I get some extra points? Like, I'm not really sure how it works. Besides that, I'm about to do a couple other things for school, and then I'm doing a mock interview at 5.30 for someone that went to MSU with me just to give her some feedback before her dental school interviews are starting up. Get a really productive day tomorrow, no sim lab, so I can be here all day and get a lot of stuff done. But I'll talk to you guys a little later, probably let you know how the gym went and let you know how I'm going about like planning out my studying for next week. Same thing, cell bio Monday, biomaterials Wednesday, infection and immunity, which I sometimes call immunology, sorry, but same thing, is Friday next week so i just want to kind of be on top of studying this time i am doing some different things to study so i will definitely tell you guys how i'm adjusting my studying or i guess not i'm not adjusting i'm just elevating adding to my studying to try to score better because as you heard in the last video i didn't do too hot on my midterms the first set so i want to do better this time motivated to keep improving. Guys, we're looking fancy because I just filmed a video so we have the whole setup. I woke up really early because I did a grocery pickup at 7 to force me to get out of bed. So that was scheduled at 7 so I got those, it was like 7 to 8 windows. So I got those like 7.30, got back here, unpacked those groceries, had some breakfast. I did an immunology lecture and then I also did some stuff for our pathways class then I filmed this video that way I can have it done and ready for next week so I'm not as stressed during exam week I don't really need to worry about YouTube at all I can just focus on taking my exams and studying and then I will get all these videos and vlogs from that and next week up for you guys after that but um, I'm recording a podcast with a periodontist that's originally from France so a very unique individual who lives in California and practices there now and also does mentorship so I think it's going to be a really interesting episode. I feel like I have a lot to learn from him so it should be pretty cool. I'm recording that in about 30 minutes here so I'm about to have some food before and then I'm going to be a guest on My Loops Are Up Here which is another dental podcast for women in dentistry tonight at 8 p.m. I'm recording with that so make sure you check out that Instagram and listen to their podcast. I really really like it. I think they're a great group of women. The rest of the day all I really want to do is just focus on studying and getting lectures finished that way towards the end of this week and over this weekend I can actually just be reviewing and studying material so there are two lectures left for infection and immunity and that exam is next Friday not this Friday and then I'm done with all the lectures for cell biology but I really haven't like gone into the content I pretty much just like read the slides, reviewed them, took the quizzes, but I want to go through, write things out, and also look at the learning objectives that they posted to kind of just make my own study guide because I think that's going to be the best thing for me to do personally, so that's kind of my strategy for cell bio. And then our other exam is in biomaterials, and I have two lectures left for that as well that I need to put onto our Quizlet, and for that class, really all I do is just the Quizlet that I create, and usually I can get by okay, but I do want to try to improve my score and my peers that do better than me seem to also review the actual lecture slides, especially the graphs and things, so I'm going to make a point to try to leave time in my schedule to do that as well. But yeah, today is really just focused on getting content for classes done so that I can start studying in the upcoming days. I got away from showing you guys my schedules in the vlogs just because I always forget to screenshot them, so here's a clip of it. Um, once I have like things left, I like to kind of just number them as like what I'm going to do when. So meditating done, so next thing, infection and immunity lecture, study plan for a cell bio exam on Monday, take a break, take a walk, and then come back and finish the biomaterials lectures. I don't think I showed these in a video, but we're going to do a little mini haul. So I have this Woodwick candle from Glow Candle Bar. It's in there 444 scent. And I'll let you guys pause and read this, but I absolutely love the message. I just thought it was so cool and uplifting. 
I don't know how I would describe the scent. She has descriptions on her website. It's a black owned small business, so I highly recommend supporting, especially for the holidays. Why not buy a candle from a small business rather than from Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candle? Try to support a small entrepreneur, you know? But anyways, I have this 444 that I was just burning while I was recording with Dr. Shivani. And then I have the other scent here that I got called Butt Naked that I haven't burned yet. But this one is more like a traditional kind of vanilla-y scent. Whereas the 444 is kind of like a... It like is super energizing to me, very uplifting, almost like fruity, I guess, but I really like it when I need a little like boost, but I got a couple things from Target I wanna show you guys as well. So there were just a couple things after living here now for a little over a month that I realized I needed. So we don't have any like muffin cupcake tray, so I just got this one. And then I got this little mirror from Conair that can prop up on my desk, but then still this can fold off. So then I can just kind of store it away when I'm not using it. And on the sides, those are LED lights. So I can just plug it into a USB or put in batteries. I'm just gonna talk to you guys in here. We don't have any counter space in our bathroom. It's just the sink. And it was getting annoying sitting on the floor in my room trying to do my makeup because there's like no lighting. So I wanted something with lighting so I can actually balance out my makeup. And there's nowhere to put my makeup in the bathroom to do it there. And the lighting's not that great anyway, so this was too, wasn't too expensive. I'll link everything below if I can. <laughs> yeah, so eight-piece mixing bowl set because I only have one bowl, and it's more of like a chip bowl. So I was using that for baking. And then I was literally mixing, because you need to separate like wet and dry when you're baking. I was literally mixing the other ingredients in a Tupperware container, which like it works. It's functional, I guess, but that was just silly, so... All these like household items that I buy, like I'm gonna keep them for ever till they stop working. So just like slowly gathering things that I need, but they are coming to redo our kitchen cabinets and drawers on Thursday. It's Tuesday night right now, so I'm so excited. I can show you guys that in this video, but as you can tell, they're just, they're a little old and the drawers are kind of like hard to move and a little creaky. If you heard that. So I'm really excited to have all of this redone and they're redoing the, this isn't even like a real backsplash, but they're gonna put on a new backsplash and stuff. And then eventually over Thanksgiving, they're gonna take out this wall and put in two more counters as like an island and also give us a dishwasher, which we don't have now. So it's gonna be big game changer. New kitchen, I told you guys that they were updating it. This is Saturday now that I'm filming, but we'll jump back into the normal vlog <laughs> and right now we're working um potentially finding new housing for next year we want to be at the top unit so we don't have noisy neighbors above us and we'd also like to move closer to the dental school if we can but we don't really want to spend a, too much more than what we're spending now so on the search for that it's a little tough with covid you can't really tour places so updates to come if we ever find a place that we really like or anything we might go try to look at one tomorrow just like knock on the residence door and see if they'll answer our questions or maybe let us come look with masks on, so we'll see. I didn't get everything done for all my classes. It's like 10 right now, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I didn't get biomaterials done, but honestly, that's the fastest one. I could probably do all of that in an hour tomorrow. I did make my study plan for cell bio, like which day I wanna do which lectures. I talked to some of my classmates about how they study because obviously I didn't pass, so I wanted tips from other people. So I'm gonna try to implement that into my studying. And now we have an 8 a.m. live class. Every Wednesday we have one, 8 to 10 a.m. And then after that, I pretty much have the day to myself to work out. I'm gonna try out the gym. I think I said we were gonna go, but then we went and you have to make a reservation. So there's reservation arrival times, I think like 15 slots per time period throughout the day when they're open. And that's just to stagger entry, keep their lower capacity within the IM facilities. So that's that. And I'm gonna go there tomorrow because I made a reservation at 11 o'clock to show up. So we will do some cardio. I need it. I'll let you guys know how working out with a mask and stuff goes. Definitely necessary to wear a mask, of course, but it's gonna be a little bit harder on your breathing, obviously, a little tougher workout.
Friday right now and I'm in the CVS parking lot because I just printed out these little wallet size pictures to put in a board on my room. I just wanted them tiny so <laughs> that's why I printed them in fours and eventually I'll just give them to some of my friends that are in these pictures but I only needed one. I just wanted some pics of all my friends so these are like my grade school friends K through 8 that I'm still friends with from my trip this summer. Obviously graduation pictures with my roommates. These are more of my friends from MSU. And then Amanda is also from MSU, but she's my roommate now in dental school. So I'm going to go home, put these up. And get started studying. I got all of my like lectures and coursework stuff done a few days ago. So I've just been working on actually studying. And the main priority until Monday afternoon when the first exam is done is going to be cell bio. So that's mostly what I'm doing this weekend. But the exam on Wednesday is our final for biomaterials. So it is 65% of our grade. So I am going to be studying for that one as well throughout the weekend just because it's a ton of content and I need to do well because I got like a 70 on the last one and that's barely passing the class. And I'd like to get more like an 85 or something like that would be ideal so I'm gonna try to just be studying more and studying more in advance and hopefully these exams will go a little better than the first set of midterms okay it's Saturday <laughs> clearly I didn't film at all yesterday but my camera was dying when I was at CVS so I went home and charged it plugged it in and I honestly was just studying all day Friday so I really didn't like think to go grab my camera and film anything but I'll give you guys some study montages today as well as some cooking and baking I know that this week I'm gonna be doing fajita bowls on my mind and then cauliflower tacos I'm also gonna be making banana bread muffins and also those chocolate chip avocado cookies so lots of cooking and baking and I'm very excited I really hope that my skin stays this nice this week we'll see though it's you know the week where your skin would get bad but I'm trying to take a lot better care of it and I'll show you guys some of my favorite products eventually in the coming weeks with my skincare and stuff I think I need to restock because I just had some like mini samples and stuff so I think I need to do a Sephora order because I'm also out of my bronzer and my blush that I like to use it's like barely scraping the surface like pretty much all just pan there that I'm using but I got a little bagel, I'm really excited, from Panera. I just did like the curbside pickup. And then I had this Starbucks that I'm finishing off. It's honestly like three or four days old, but like I said, if you take the berries out and stuff, it really is just like a juice. And then I think it's fine if it sits in your fridge. So that's that. It's already like 11.30 or something, 11.15. And then we're going to mass at 5 p.m. tonight instead of on Sunday. Just that way, Sunday, we have like all day to really just like do school before the 9 a.m. exam on Monday but I'm pretty on track for my study schedule for the exam Monday but I was supposed to be keeping up with stuff for biomaterials on Wednesday but I really haven't so today I want to catch up on my biomaterial studying which is really just going through the Quizlet because the day before like Tuesday I wanted to do a lot of practice problems from the textbook so that's why I wanted to make progress on the Quizlet over the weekend and then I have three or four sets of slides left for CMB, cell molecular bio, exam this Monday. And then I also have a couple videos that I wrote down like about topics from lectures I've already watched that I wanna go over. And other than that, like I definitely feel like I have a way better understanding of this content. And as I'm going through the slides, I'm trying to like read it out loud and like rephrase it as if I was explaining it to someone. And that's been helping a lot. Like even if you're not actually teaching someone, just pretending like you're teaching someone really I think makes you learn it better so that's a little study tip that has been helping so far in probably two or three vlogs from now depending how long it takes them to grade our exams I will let you guys know if these midterms went better and hopefully I'll have some new study tips to share then yesterday I put up our Halloween decorations I already had fall up but just added little these guys on top of this <laughs> big microwave we already had this stuff up and then those are some little pumpkin lights that plug in down there and then just these two so I have a little bit more laundry to put away and I did get this package I didn't show you guys I'll just put the picture in here I got this really cool coat and I wasn't sure if I was keeping it or not but 200 of you on Instagram said to keep and like 10 people said to return it so based on that I'm gonna keep it 
And then I also got those Spanx like faux leather leggings and I am obsessed with them. You can also kind of see them in that picture and those I already put away in my drawer. But today's outfit is this little cardigan from Aerie. It's going to be like 75 outside, but inside our apartment it's a little bit colder so I like to wear this. Then just this tank top from Lululemon I've shown in videos. And then the dance studio joggers that I literally always wear in many different colors. So that's that. <laughs> and I did actually mail in my ballot this morning as well as sending in my gym membership cancellation from East Lansing because they make you mail it in. So I mailed both of those when I was out getting Panera too. I'm not trying to slow down You know I've always been wanting to change And you and I are feeling just right Happy Sunday. I'm just about to make my bed really quick. I got some scrubs on that I'm going to grab a muffin and head out the door. I signed up for 9 to 12 a.m. extra sim lab practice. We only get to go once this week because D4s have their CDCA exams, which is their board exams, um, coming up and they really need to practice. So they're going to do that in a sim lab this week. So I just figured I'd go today, go in the morning, then I'd have my whole day to do whatever. Um, at 6 p.m. we have another TSP, which is a teaching scholars program that I'm kind of on the little like founding group of students of, and we just kind of help plan everything. But basically, it's just like a class run office hour and we use Google Slides and we have each class there in order and then you post questions under whatever class you have. Then we just go through that as a group and if someone knows the answer they explain it to the person that was confused. We record it so people can watch it. It's really been helpful. I'm asking all the questions but so it helps me because I get questions answered and sometimes I do know how to explain things to other people also but I found it to be really helpful so we'll see if it continues but also we are probably going to go see the place that we're living in next year I know I mentioned that in this video as well that we are looking for housing and I'm not going to say too much about specifics yet just because we haven't officially signed on anything but all I'm going to say is that the perfect thing became available and like fell into place which never happens so I'm trying not to get my hopes up but like they're up and Amanda and I will be staying together but other than that I will update you guys more in coming weeks and stuff when it's more final but I'm so excited it's literally everything I was looking for so I'm pumped if you made it to the end of this video I'm sure you're a loyal viewer and you already know this but I did change my upload time to 3 p.m. on Wednesdays if you didn't notice so that's some videos are gonna go up my analytics just said that there's way more people way more of you are on there like 3 or 4 p.m. so I'm going to make it 3 p.m. on Wednesdays but I do think that this video is up to my usual length so I am going to end this here and pick this up for a new vlog for the exam weeks and everything. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.